Mparks introduces guidelines for antibiotics use in pets to fight antimicrobial resistance. Locally, an analysis of diagnostic reports from 2014 to 2016 revealed that almost half of the bacteria isolated from unwell companion animals were multi-drug resistant. This and other findings highlighted in the guidelines give an indication of the prevalence of antimicrobial resistance in pets here. In addition, transmission of resistant bacteria or their resistance genes can occur between humans and animals. Efforts to combat this began earlier with a National Strategic Action Plan on Antimicrobial Resistance published in 2017. The 157-page Guidelines for the Prudent Use of Antimicrobials in Companion Animals is part of the action plan. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. It includes specific recommendations on when antibiotics should be prescribed for various animal species, the choice and length of antibiotic treatment, effective ways to boost understanding and awareness of antibiotic use among pet owners or animal caregivers, as well as good hygiene and biosecurity measures to minimize the risk of antimicrobial resistance spreading in clinics. Dr. Brian Loon, principal vet at Amber Vet and part of the Prudent Use Guidelines Working Group, said that antimicrobial resistance is an imminent threat. He said that there is now a trend of pet owners feeding their animals raw diets, and often they use meat intended to be cooked and consumed by humans. These meat can contain bacteria such as Salmonella, E. coli. These are the same bacteria that cause food poisoning in humans and I have seen a trend where our pets are getting infected with them as well, he said. The risk is that the pets can then carry it on can, pass it on to the to the pet owners.